Here's Chris Rush with then first ball of the day. Turned away out through mid wicket and uh, runs first up there for uh, Ben Wells. Coughlin bowls to Wells, who's bowled. First wicket falls. Leg stump. It is as well. Leg bails off. And Wells adds, what, 10. Last ball of the 18th over. In comes McAlinden and Bowles. That's driven. Took a hand off the bat there, did Dent. But he's almost picked up four for it. But for a tumbling effort and a relay shovel down at third man and they've, they've done well there to limit it to two but it's two runs that brings up a 50 for Chris Denton Borthwick in Harris changes all that by going big down the ground and six runs over the head of long on the ball caroms nicely back to Nick Maddinson to accelerate and in fact Chris Dent is as well that's coming over in our direction and it's gone for six just over the boundary there's a lovely controlled shot from Chris Dent. He met it on the full. Stanley McAlinden returns to the attack, this time from the Lumley end. And the first ball's driven out through the covers for four there by Harris. And he gets to his half century 52 in 63 balls. Borthwick starting a new over. That's a long hit down the ground from Harris for six. Over long on. In comes the bowler. And played back upfield, past him, and there is the 100 for Dent. Comes in 94 balls. His fifth in one-day cricket. 94 balls, 12 fours and a six. It's not that long to go now. Travaskis bowls, there's a big shot attempted, and that is six runs over wide long on. Harris with that kind of semi-slog sweep again. Travaskis then bowling to Harris down the pitch in the air. Could be taken along on and is taken this time by Madison. Madison. Good Low catch that. To his left. Required to do most of the damage. and There doesn't seem to be very much on offer for them. Down the wicket comes Bracey and he just launches downfield for six. Straight back over Borthwick's head. Borthwick has no answer for this. Travaskis new over, oh. bold, and that's the end of Dent for 117 going for a sweep shot just seemed to be a bit out in front of that one as Travaskis took the pace off 49 not out in the winner oh Ooh, that's a big hit that's gone for six over square leg on the boundary Manson's out there and it's gone way above him and kicked them out the station Oh, he's bowled him. He's looking to try and ramp one here, and he's missed it entirely, Bracey. So he's out for 31, and now Gloucestershire are losing wickets. Men offside in the ring. McAlinden bowls and bowls Zappa Gohar. Backed away, tried to cut. The offside was too tempting with all those fielders up. So much in the championship, actually, almost more in my book cricket I've seen him lately. Rushworth balls. That's drilled high into the air. Now, who's underneath this? And will it stick? It will. And it's Borthwick, I think. He's got one to stick into his hands. He came racing in from the discs way up towards the track they're playing on and took the catch at Gibson there and bowls. A slower ball which has gone way up into the air. This should be taken. Dixon underneath it and running backwards in the end takes the catch. Managed to judge that well in the end. But he had to backpedal just at the last minute. In comes Ollie Gibson. He's there and bowls to Tom Smith, who tries to hit this one over mid on and is caught at mid on by Travaskis running away to his right. Pretty comfortable catch in the end. And of course, here comes Gibson. Bowls pulled aerially. One bounce for four to finish the innings. So 367 for eight is the score. Gloucestershire will finish on. Not to see it. some big partnerships here. First ball just misses the stumps. Tom Price moves in. He bowls on leg stump, flicked away in the air, out towards deep square leg and taken. I think that's one Price with the catch and one Price with the delivery. He's there now and 
ball is all that's gone awfully then. wrong. It's going to be caught oh, at deep square What a dreadful leg. ball to get out on. And that's surely a no ball on height. At the moment, it's considered fine, and he's oh, gone. Oh, what a dreadful wicket for Durham to lose there. That's a dreadful, dreadful full toss. Goer in. Madison is bold. Absolutely, totally played around that one. I think he may have been done by the wrong one. He's completely played at fresh air there. He bowls. Borthwick's bowled. I'm starting to think Durham might get nowhere near here. Borthwick's just lost his patience, come down the track at him, and has totally missed the ball and is out for 45. Kalendi bowls. And that oh. is a cracking reverse slog from. Sean Dixon, which he's picked up outside of leg stump. For now, though, short bowling to Dixon, who pulls mightily out over mid-wicket for six more. He bowls. Oh, now this might be out. It is. It was a really loopy full toss, and Dixon should have just played it straight, and he's tried to reverse sweep, and it's come straight down on his foot. Awful shot. Smith comes in, left arm over, Travaskis sweeps it hard and he's going to be out, oh he's found the man in the deep, unbelievable, the last ball from Smith and he gets his first wicket and Durham have gone and repeated the mistake they made in the last over from, made 355 at Grantham, have got knots 265 for 5 in the 40th. This shot from Coughlin is uh, gone for 4 more, really nicely powerfully done. And that's his 50, his first 50 in one day cricket. Price in and bowls to McIntosh. Slow ball hitting the air down the ground. Long on backing up six. and it's over his head for six. <laughs> McIntosh gets his first six. This F is really on this. 54 in 29 balls. Cow corners on the ropes. That's coming cow corner way. That is six. And uh, Taylor was just down below our commentary position. And as soon as that left the bat, he knew he wasn't going to get anywhere near that. It sailed over his head. Tom Price is in now, bowls, McIntosh moves across his stumps, pulls six. that one away, that's six. Over, backward <laughs> square leg. <laughs> he tried the short ball, Tom Price. In comes Price, bowls, it's a full toss, hit in the air, and should Ouch. be taken at extra cover, and that's the end of McIntosh. Tom Price gets his third wicket, Jack Taylor with a comfortable catch, but a terrific hand from... McIntosh. The highest score on this ground until today. 18 from 5. That's wide, wide delivery. That's got to be gone out for an appeal. Oh. It's caught behind. Tom Price has got a wicket and it's that of Coughlin. A wide delivery which he thrashed at. And he doesn't look too disappointed with the decision. He's examining the toe of his back. Whether that means that he thinks he toe ended the ground or toe ended the ball. But he's been given his marching orders by umpire Chantry. And uh, this is incredible drama, and it, they've got here because Paul Coglin's just hit 77, his highest score in a one-day price.